Let's program and be creative. It's time for MIT App Inventor. In this video, we're going to continue with our lyrics game. In the previous videos, we've used this media, we've used these songs, my document here with the song name, the website video, and the lyrics. And you can see we designed it. This is what our home screen looks like. This is what our game looks like. On day one, I also gave you my code, the code solution. On day two, I had you follow my video. Um, if you could not complete day one, which was looking at the pictures to kind of make it on your own. Since you have a lot of experience this year in AP Computer Science Principles, we've made a bunch of different apps. You should be able to use these two pictures. But if you didn't, here's the video that I showed you how to actually design this app. Now, in the previous video, we've been working on building out the code. So again, I've given you the code. And this is the complete solution. I gave you this on day two in class. I said, you can go ahead and we've coded a lot of stuff this year as well. So you should be able to build this out without the help of a video because we've built a lot of apps this year, but I am going through how to build it in a tutorial video for those that might have struggled with any portions of this code. In the previous video, we actually already went through the compression and you can see it kind of here. So you can see we have made song and video links, so this is the song and the videos that will show if you guess the song correctly. We have song and lyrics. This is the song. It's a dictionary where you look it up by song. And these are the lyrics. You see we have a bunch of variables that we made. We programmed our new song button, which is this button right here. Also, when you come to the screen, we're calling this update song. We created this made show video, replace all special characters and we did our compression of our lyrics which was this block of code and you can see let's just show you it working so uptown funk you can see at the top is the song name then it gives you the lyrics before we compress them this is the lyrics compressed replaced by spaces this is our word lookup so it has a word associated with a number and below here is our lookup. Because this is too big, let's just refresh. So you can see here, here's Run the World. Girls, girls is equal to zero. So here's the song name, here's the lyrics before we do anything to it. Here's how the lyrics will look to the user. It's pretty much blank spaces. Here's our lookup behind the scenes. We have, we compress the word. So girls is equal to zero we is equal to one. So we just pretty much went through and kind of assigned a number to it. This is what the lyrics compressed looks like. And you can see this is just a bunch of numbers, but these numbers are equal to words inside of this list. So girls is equal to zero. So here, anytime I see a zero, so this is girls, this is girls, this is girls, this is girls, this is girls. If I look up here, there's a bunch of girls. So that's how we're gonna use this little dictionary that we made with words that are repeated in their associated numbers. And we have this list or just simply numbers and we're just gonna replace this to kind of update the user with that. Let's go ahead and work on decompressing this. We also need to work on getting hint and we need to work on checking the user. All right, so I wanna come back up Let's just double check. In the previous video, we did this. Compress lyrics, get hints. I did not do get hints. We can do that now. I'm gonna make a procedure for that. And we'll do that later, but let's just make the procedure. That way I know this is done. Compress lyrics was seven. Get hints is eight. And I need to update the display. So I'm gonna need a nine update display. And let's make a procedure called update display. All right, so I'm gonna All right. So 
update display is going to be pretty straightforward. Getting get hint is going to be a little bit more complicated because we're going to have to pull out words and then decompress them and all that type of stuff. But we haven't built decompress yet, so we're going to do this after we do decompress. But update display is pretty straightforward. We're going to update the display to the user. And one, we're going to update the text box of lyrics shown with this planks and hint words. And two, we're going to update the hint button with the number of words, which are hints left to use. So really, really simple this text box lyrics right now I have all this stuff in here I'm simply going to make this I want it to be this little part in here well that little part is now lyrics and I want to update the hint button so this button right here to have the number of hints left so I'm going to find my button hint I'm going to change the text. I'm going to need a join statement. I'm going to say hint. I'm going to do a parentheses. And I need a little bit more space. I'm going to add text at the end. And in between is going to be the number of words that we actually compressed. So remember up here, this keeps count of how many words we compressed. That's gonna be the number of hints that they have. So I'm just gonna come here. And there you go. That's pretty much what you need for update display. So if I press new song, you're not gonna see all this stuff anymore because I'm erasing it here. It's just gonna show the lyrics. And button hint will show me how many words I actually compressed. So if I do this, So you can see there I have, that's what it would look like. And it, I, I have 14 words I compressed. This is 10 words I compressed. This is nine words I compressed. All right, so update display. And get hint, I'm gonna do once I decompress. Now, I'm not gonna keep this right now because I still wanna show you behind the scenes. So I'm gonna disable this. Actually, I'll just disable this right now. If I press new song, you can see it does that. So, there you go. So I'm not calling this right now. I disabled it. That way you can kind of still see behind the scenes of what's going on. All right. So we have get hint, which we're going to work on, but we need to work on decompress. This was compress lyrics. Let's work on decompress. So it's like a procedure. Call it decompress lyrics by word number lookup. Let's add a comment in here. And what are we going to do? So we're decompressing lyrics compressed. Each compressed word has a number associated with it in, in lyrics compressed, which is only numbers. All right, so first thing, one, what I'm gonna do is gonna update lyrics compressed, which is gonna be show only numbers compressed for words with the hint word. So what does that mean? So this is my lyrics compressed at the bottom. If my word is girls, anywhere there's a zero, I'm gonna replace it. I'm gonna replace zero with girls. That's what that means. All right, two, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna need a place to kind of store this. That way I don't change my lyrics compressed. I need like another variable, but I don't want to make a global variable. I'm gonna make a temporary variable. So it's gonna be a copy of this so I can make changes to it without changing my lyrics compressed. Because if I change all of lyrics compressed, 
then I'll lose this information. So I'm going to create a local variable. And again, we'll talk about variables in Big Idea 3 of AP Computer Science Principles, which we're going to be in next. So I'm going to make a local variable to update without changing lyrics compressed. So I'll make a local variable equal to lyrics compressed in order to update without changing lyrics compressed. So I'll do that. Three, what I'm going to do, lyrics compressed only contains numbers. So what are we doing for each number, for each number in the new local variable, replace it with this. So what am I doing? I have lyrics compressed. I'm going to pray girls and replace all girls, all zeros with girls. So girls here, girls here, girls here. I'm going to copy this to another variable that I'm going to make. Now, all other numbers, I'm going to replace it with a blank. That way, it'll look more like this, and I have numbers in it. Number four, what we're going to do is we're going to update lyric to be the local variable with the new hint word added. And five, what we're going to do, we're going to remove the hint word from word compressed lookup since you just used it to decompress data. So pretty much this is for saying, okay, once we do that, we're going to make this now equal to this with the hint word. That's what three and four does. Five, remove the hint word. So if inside of here I have girls and I added girls everywhere. I don't know. I no longer need girls inside of this kind of lookup. So I'm going to remove girls. So that way, if girls get picked again, it would not. It's not going to do anything. So these are the things we have to do inside of the compressed lyrics. So first, update lyrics compressed. Show all this. Let's look at get hint and. Let's go ahead and write out the comments for that. So we'll have everything in order. So for get hint, the user pressed get hint, right? Button one. If the word compressed lookup is greater than one. So they can they can continue to press this button right here, this hint button, until you get down to one. You get down to one word, I mean pretty much you you have you should know what the song name is by then. Um, or pretty much the game is kind of over. So if the words are greater, the word compressed, all the hints are greater than one. As long as you got more than one word, you can keep pressing that button. So if it's that, let's just say A, you're gonna get a random hint word from words compressed. And let's say speak to the user, right? B, I'm gonna use the local variable. So I'm gonna use two local variables here. And to look up the hint word, value to decompress that word. See what we're actually going to do is call this to do all the work. So let's call decompress lyrics by word number lookup with word value with word number. There we go. And D, once we get a hint, we also want to call update display, which we made earlier. Now too, if the word compressed lookup is not greater than one, there's pretty much no more hints available. Hey, we're just gonna speak to the user and say something like, you know, you lose, try another song, something like that. So anytime they press this button, these are the things we're gonna do. This is gonna come and we'll decompress down here. All right, so let's just go ahead and do this. If words are compressed are greater than one. So list of words compressed, D, 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 D. So I'm gonna come up here Get my if statement. Now I want to get if the the word compress is greater than zero. So I actually want to look in words. So I want to get a list of the words compressed. Well, I think I need to make a procedure for that. So let's just call it list of words compressed. And that is simply going to be Dictionary value, I'm gonna get the keys and 
that's going to be of my word compressed list. So I called that before. So like right here, the list words compressed, I can now just simply replace that here. So this is another reason you want to use procedures when you're seeing a duplicate code. So this was actually right here, which is a list of words compressed. I'm also going to need that here. So I have it two places. So I simply made a procedure and you just add a comment. So, you know, this is a list of all the keys, which is the song names, which is the words compressed from the lyrics. Pretty straightforward. All right. So I don't know if it's greater than one. So go to math, pull in my equal sign. Let's make this greater. I'm going to go since that's a list. If the length of the list, this is the list that I want, the list of words compressed. The length of the list is greater than one. I want to do something or else I want to speak to the user. So let's just do the else part now, Texas Beach. And let's do a join statement. And what did I say I wanted? You lose. And let's add another one. You lose the song name was, and let's actually give them the song name so they'll know what it was. And we have song name there, and I'm gonna add another text. Try another song. So that's if they, if the list is one, pretty much they ran out of hints, we're gonna tell them you lose. Let's focus on up here. Get a random word from words, the list of words compressed, right? So I'm gonna need a hint word. And remember up here, we have hint word. So I could pull it from here and pull this down, or I could have gone over here to that, but just showing you. So hint word is going to be a random, I'm going to pick a random word from our list of words compressed. And that's why, again, we are now using this here, we're using it here, we're also using it here. So that's why we made this procedure. So here's the list of words compressed. So part two, use a local variable to look up the hint word to de decompress that value. So what does that mean? So let's say I pick girls girls is now hint word now i want to look up in this little area what is girls number so that would be zero so i need to get that zero part so i'm going to make a local variable so local variable i'm going to pull in this one and let's just call it hint word number value and that i need to look up inside of my little word lookup which is a dictionary so i'm going to go to the dictionary Get value for key. The key is the hint word. So I'm gonna to go to variables, I'm gonna pull in this. So for example, girls is my key. The dictionary is my word compressed lookup. So word compressed lookup. And if it's not found, it should be found because it's not found. We can just clear that out. We don't want to mess up this list by just putting not found. So this is the hint word number that we have. Now you can see here, call decompress list with that word number. So now that we have that value, right? We want to call this down here. So I have decompress. The issue is I need to take input. So I'm going to come down here and add in my input. And we can just simply call this hint word number value. Now I could have just put this in here, but I wanted to make sure that it was clear what that is. So that's why I used a local variable. I'm just going to pass that into there. Now also up here, update display. 
going to call that. So we have a procedure that we called update display. And did I, oh wait, get a random hint and speak to the user. Did not do and speak to the user. So let's do that. Put that up here. It's going to be a join statement. And what do we want to say? Let's say hint. I have added this word and the word we added was the hint word. And just so we can see that you can change it, let's just say down case since this is all lowercase, right? And I'm going to put a dot and I'm going to say, what song is this? All right. So we are done with this. We're done with get hint. We still have to work on decompress lyrics by word number, but we are done with this. So here's what's going to happen. When I press new song, so let's just do this. I'm going to enable this block so you can see the process. And when I press get hints, it's going to say I've added the word, whatever the hint word was. Even though we're not decompressing it, you can see that's working. So new song. Hint. I have added this word. Me. What song is this? So it said it added the word me, but it actually didn't because we're not decompressing it yet. And the reason, if you look at this, when we press update song, we're calling get hint. So if I disable this and I press new song, it is just an empty bunch of words, but we want to give the user a hint when we update any song. So that's, we did that in the previous video. So again, if I press this. I have added this word to what song is this? Now it's not adding it. And the reason it's not is because we did not do our decompress down here. But I can, you can see there's hint, there's 10 words that was compressed. If I keep pressing it, well, look, hint, we did not actually do that. So get hint is super simple. This right here, when someone clicks on hints, what do we want to do? We want to call get hint. So now if I press on this. Hint. I have added this word up. What song is this? Hint. I have added this word three. What song is this? Hint. I have hint. I have added this word me. What hint? Hint. I have added this word watch. What song is this? So there's two things. We have to work on decompress, so it adds the words back into it. It decompresses the data that we compressed, the lyrics. And also you can see the number's not going down. Well, we already wrote down the steps down here. So once we do decompress, both of these two things will be fixed. And the only thing we'll have left is to check if the user guesses the song right. Um, and we also have this speech recognizer, which we can do really quickly. So let's go ahead and focus on decompressing the lyrics. We will do that in the next video. So head over to the next video to get started.